mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Lifting and pulling and flying so high Building a building up to the sky You can watch them all day and never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar, watch them soar Sit right down and see There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Hi there, kids. I'm just warming up my engine. This is a big day. We're going to be training a new addition to our fleet. You can call me Tow Truck, or TT for short. <laughs> now, some think the TT stands for Trucks in Trouble, because a tow truck specializes in helping trucks get out of trouble. But it's not that. TT, the tow truck, that's me. <laughs> that's Paul, my driver. Every day, he gives me an inspection and checks the equipment. Let's see. Chains, chain tightener, sledgehammer. A tow truck like me has to be ready for anything out on the road and I have to carry everything I might need with me. Paul likes to keep everything nice and neat. It's easier to find things that way. Those funny-looking forks fit on my tow bar so I can lift trucks. Every vehicle is a little different. That's why I have to have so many different sized fittings. Those curly cables? Extra brake lines. I need those when I'm towing something big and heavy. I'm always towing the big and heavy stuff. I'm the one they call when a school bus breaks down or a transport truck needs a lift. I carry stuff to clean up any spills and I have a full toolbox. I have to be prepared for everything. What's in here? More chains, pulleys, lifting straps? Yep, I've got everything. Now I'm going to show you how my tow bar works. Trucks are big, heavy machines, so a tow truck that lifts trucks has to be especially strong. And this is my part that does the lifting. Down goes my tow bar. And then I can extend it out. It stretches underneath the truck cab, fits onto the front axle, and lifts the front wheels right off the ground. It works by hydraulics. That gives it the strength it needs. Okay, it all looks fine. Now today, Tanker Truck and I have set up a training exercise for our new rookie. We're going to see how much he knows. Come on! And are you ready for the test? What have you got cooked up for me today, TT? You'll see. Oh my gosh! What happened? Hello, young feller. I'm part of your test. You have to get me out of here and back on my wheels. But how did you roll over? A retired tanker truck has a lot of time to dream up a good test for a new tow truck. I found a soft, sandy spot where my wheels sunk down and then over I went. But can you get me out? That's the test. <laughs> I think I'm going to need TT's help. 
This looks like a job for two tow trucks. Good, that's right. Okay, what next? Well, you park on this side, and I'll set up on the other side in the field. Sounds like the rookie has a plan, Tanker. That's one of the first things I learned. You have to have a plan. And it looks like Half Ton is here to help too. That gives me another idea. Don't worry, Mr. Tanker, sir. We'll have you back on your wheels in no time. He's got a special surprise in that trailer of his. Paul's putting his gloves on. He's ready for action. First, I need to put my feet down on the ground. That gives me good, solid support. Next, you'll need your boom up. Up she goes. So far, so good, kid. Now, I'll do the same with mine. That's it, Jason. Detach the tow bar first. I wonder what they're up to. I hope it doesn't take too long. I, I feel peculiar on my side. Just relax, tanker truck. I've learned a lot of things since I started taking lessons. Okay, Jason, you'll need to fetch the canvas lifting straps from my locker. We use canvas because rope or chain would scratch the truck and we don't want that. Fish it through underneath. And fling it over the top. Perfect! How exactly is this plan of yours going to work? Well, I'm on one side of you and TT is on the other. He's going to use his winch cables and pulleys to pull you up from his side. Those cables are amazingly strong. They're a giant tow truck's best friend. There, he's hooked onto a chain attached to your cab. Then the other hook is going onto the canvas strap. Okay, TT, take up the slack. What? He's gonna pull me up all by himself? That won't work. I'll get to a certain point and then I'll topple over. My undercarriage could be damaged if that happens. Hold on, Tanker. Give him a chance. All right, Rookie. What's next? Tanker is going to get a big surprise this time, kids. <laughs> I'm glad Half Ton is here to help. He's got the right equipment in his trailer. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Do you know what that is? That gadget on wheels is a compressor. It runs off a small gasoline engine. That's a good spot for it, Jason. And those are air hoses. You'll never guess what we're going to do. Have you got something cooked up? You wanted to see if I had learned anything. Now I'm going to show you. All right, TT. We're about ready to go. First, you pull on your cables. Good. That should be enough. Hold her there, TT. Have you ever had a birthday with balloons? <laughs> You're going to see some strange balloons now. Balloons? What are you talking about? 
Hey, what are those things going underneath me? This is the surprise I was talking about. Those are super duper airbags. Well, I'll be. I've never heard of such a thing. How does it work? You hook up the air hoses to the compressor and to the distributor, then connect them to the airbags. Start up the little engine and the compressor springs to life. It's a mechanical air pump. Now open the air valves. And voila! What's happening? What are you doing? I'm being pushed up in the air! That's right. The airbags are filling up, just like balloons. Airbags are pushing me upright? Pretty cool technique, right? Amazing. But won't they push me until I tip over and crash? Don't fret. We won't let that happen. I'm pulling you with my winch cables from my side, and the rookie's got control of you from his side. Together, we'll just ease you down gently. I don't want to crash land. That's the whole idea. We don't want you to crash either. There you go. Back on your wheels, safe and sound. <sighs> You did it! Wow! I feel better already. Now let's get out of here and back home. Well, that's all right with me. You're not fit to go back on the road until you're checked out by a mechanic tanker truck. I'm going to tow you back home. All right. I never argue with a free ride. Jason has to put down the feet of your trailer so you can be unhitched. You're not going to leave it behind, are you? Relax. Rookie and I know how to look after you. He'll tow your trailer and your cab will come with me. What size forks are you? Hmm, size four, I think. Out goes the tow bar. It has to be in just the right position so that the forks fit onto the front axle. I can feel my front wheels lifting off the ground. We need chains around your front axle to attach it to the tow bar for safety. Always safety first when you're working with machines. You guys think of everything. Now, just release the catch that attaches the cab to the tank trailer. And I'm ready to pull away. I'm being towed. And look, there's my tank trailer left behind, standing on its own two feet. Well, and wheels too. And here I come to pick up the trailer. That's about right. Down with the tow bar. That's a special rig I need to fit onto the trailer hitch. Perfect. It fits right on the hitch. You know, I have to admit that you sure have learned a lot. I think you passed the test with flying colors. Up come the feet.
I'm ready to go. Good work, rookie. You've obviously done your homework. You're a full-fledged member of the tow truck fleet now. You know, tow trucks do other types of jobs. Float Tow Truck is a real specialist. He's going to show you what he does. Oh, hello. You're just in time. I got a call to move some heavy equipment out on a job site. That's what they call a float. It's a strange name because I can tell you that trailer could never float on water or in the air. I beep for safety reasons when I back up. So if you hear that sound, better watch out. They call me Float Tow Truck because hauling floats is my specialty. That's Ollie, my driver. Those hoses and cables connect my controls to the float. Air pressure for the brakes, Electrical for lights. And hydraulics for raising and lowering. There. Done. Now, with the touch of a button, the front end of the float rises off the ground. Isn't that cool? Now, I'm ready to drive. Sure is a huge, long rig, isn't it? A float can carry a lot of weight, so it moves big equipment that would tear up the highway. At last! I'm going to my first job! Lucky you! I hope I get a turn soon. Here comes Float Tow Truck. He's taking me to the site. This is pretty exciting. Yoo-hoo! Over here! A building site wants the biggest excavator available. And that means you, big digger. Well, gee, I'm honored. I'll just avoid that big puddle there. I don't want to get all covered in mud. Off you go then, big digger. It'll be your turn soon, little digger. I already know about getting onto the float truck. That's how I was delivered here last week. I guess spot some building sites where they need a little excavator. Could you tell them about me? Oh, sure. They always need diggers on construction sites. I'm lowering the float down on the ground. There, that does it. Next, the hoses and electrics have to be unhooked. Now, watch what happens when I pull away. See that? The back section of the float is left on the ground. But I'm still carrying the front part. They call that the gooseneck. <laughs> I love that name. It looks sort of like a goose's neck, if you've ever seen a goose. By taking off the gooseneck, the excavator can drive right up onto the float. Looks like some adjustments need to happen before you can drive on. Well, <laughs> I'm a pretty wide load. The floor of the float has to be widened, or I would hang over the sides. That could be dangerous. Those planks should be strong enough to hold my weight. That does it. Of course, I operate on tracks, not wheels. When I get working out on the job, 
I have to plow through muck and mud and guck, and my tracks make it much easier to maneuver around when I dig up a big shovel full of dirt. Getting a board is not my most graceful action. Just gotta get a grip on the ramp with my tracks. Mm, that's it. Little more. Uh, I'm up. Teeter. Good. There. Made it. You can see why I need those extensions. My tracks are wider than the floor of the float. Let me get my bucket arm as low as possible. That way, I won't catch a low-hanging telephone wire or hit an underpass. Okay, Digger. I just have to hook up to the float again, and we're ready to go. Nice work, tow truck. Well, this is my specialty, you know. There! The float and the gooseneck are all plugged in again. See that? The front end of the float is rising off the ground. I'm just about ready for the road. You'll have to be chained down first, Digger. I wouldn't want you to shift on the float as I'm driving down the road. Good thinking! How does that feel? That chain tightener really works! Now, the other side. Almost done now. See how the chains are crossed? Digger won't shift even with the biggest bump on the road now. Attach the flags, Ollie, because I'm carrying an extra wide load. And I need a little cap over my exhaust pipe. I don't want any dirt flying down inside me when I'm on the highway. I'm all loaded up, buddy. Are you ready to move now? I'm all set to go, pal. Follow me. I've got the two front end loaders they need at the job site. You have big digger. I'll be right behind you. We have enough equipment to move a lot of dirt. Here we go! Are you comfortable back there? As comfy as a digger on a float truck could be! <laughs> It 
won't be long before I deliver you to your first job site. How do you feel about that, big guy? Can't wait! Let me at that dirt! And I like being on the road, carrying a big load, like Big Digger. <laughs> hmm. Hey, I know a good song for the road. You mean... Mighty Machines. Big and Mighty Machines. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So long. Good driving. And if you get into trouble, just call a tow truck. We can handle anything. Mighty machines, big and mighty machines, working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines, lifting and pulling and flying so high, building and building up to the sky. You can watch them all day and never know why they're mighty machines. Hear them roar, watch them soar, sit right down and see. There are stories to enjoy for every girl and boy. Mighty machines, big and mighty machines, working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines, working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines.